Hello friends, we are Sonot employed by Fang Company, so let's stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do longest substring without a repeating character lead code problem. And this is actually number three problem in the lead code and also very popular problem. As you can see the number of companies that have already asked this problem. So if I just check the companies where I want to get a job and I have already asked this question, there are companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Bloomberg, Apple, Google, Spotify, Uber, Goldman Sachs, Yahoo, Walmart, eBay, Lyft, ByteDance, Morgan Stanley and Paytm. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention to solve this problem. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem and also one of the most like problems on lead code. Basically we are given a string S and we need to find the length of the longest substring without a repeating character inside this given string. So suppose in this example we are given a string like this. And in this case, if we check that what is the longest substring without a repeating character, that is this one A, B, C and the length of this is 3. We can also conclude this one as well. This has also length of 3 and uh, we can return either of them. But the answer in this case we are going to return is actually 3. Let's see that what would be the different approaches to solve this problem. Okay. So suppose this is the input that we are given and let's see that how can we solve this in a brute force manner. Well, the ba most basic idea is that we can take this input and take every single substring that is possible and then check on all of those substrings that whether there are any repeating characters or not and whichever the substring with the longest uh, length we found without any repeating characters we will just present it as an answer. So if I just show you by an example in this case the number of substrings we can make is okay let's start from this A. So from this A we can make a substring of A we can make a substring a b we can make a substring a b a we can make a substring a b a t dot 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 and so on and so forth we can make all of these substring next substring we will make starting from this value number b so from b we can make b b a b a t b a t m and so on and so forth so in this case the longest substring we would be able to make is actually this uh, one b a t m that is of length 4 and this is the answer in our case so even if we use the brute force approach eventually we would have found this uh, substring by comparing all of the bunch of different substrings that we will we would have created and then we can we would have written 4 in this case but what is the issue with this approach well the issue is actually quite trivial that we are actually doing lot of unnecessary work and we are trying to find lot of different substrings even if we just see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big of n cube why n cube because we are going to do n square work uh, to find all the substrings and then we will have to do n work for every single one of them to find that whether there exists any repeating character or not so this is a really bad approach let's see that what is the improvement we can make to optimally solve this problem we are going to use very important concept called sliding window and in addition with two pointer what we are going to do is we are going to have two pointers called left and right and these left and right pointers we are going to have them to follow a very important property and that property is that between these values of left and right all the elements has to be unique if at any moment we encounter that there is a duplicate entry which means that we will update the value of l to the point where the duplicate entry is mitigated or it's eliminated and then we will again keep on progressing with this right pointer let me quickly show you how we are going to do that so first of all left and right both are going to start at the same position now we are going to make our right pointer move to the next element until the point where we find a place that is actually repeating so we are now our right pointer is at this position our left pointer is at this position so so far we have two elements in our substring and both are unique so because both are unique we are good go, good up until to this point also at the same time we are going to have an answer variable where we are going to store the length of the maximum uh, substring we were able to find with all the unique characters so so far initially this value was one but now we have found that there are actually two elements uh, for this substring that has all the unique elements so far now we now we are going to update the value of our right pointer again so right pointer will come over here now again right pointer is here but at this point okay we need to check that okay amongst this a and b does a exist somewhere and we know that a exists over here now you will quickly ask me that okay 
in this case since we only had two elements and we were comparing this a it was really easy for us to identify what if we had like 10 elements like this and then we are comparing this a and we need to check that whether at all these 10 positions does this a exist or not and that would be make things really inefficient and that would be big of n square time complexity so what we are going to do is we are going to have a visited hash set and inside this visited hash set we are going to store all the characters we have found so far between l and r and we are going to keep on adding until the point we find a repeating character so initially this only had the value a when we are at this point then we added a b so so far inside our hash set uh, we actually have a and b and now when this r pointer comes at this position a first of all we will check that whether a exists or not and we realize that okay a exists inside this hash set which means that amongst this substring we cannot add this value a because a exists over here so now what we are going to do is we are going to remove a from this our set and we are also going to update our left pointer to remove this value a so okay we ignore this a and now our left pointer is at this position our right pointer is at this position so so far the values are b and a and now we are again going to add this value number a over here because this right pointer is here okay uh, what is the length so far so the length is still 2 so because length is 2 we are not going to update in our answer because in our answer the length is also 2 now we are going to update our right pointer to come to the next next element and when we update the right pointer it comes over here so this t t does not exist inside our hash set so we will add entry t over here and our uh, we will update our answer as well so now the our answer becomes 3 now again we will uh, update our right pointer to come to uh, come over here so when the right pointer comes over here we will have an entry m so again we will add the value m over here inside our hash set because it does not exist before and we will also update our answer to be of length 4 so far now again we will add our well, uh, right value over here so when we add the right pointer over here and at this moment this is a so we try to check that whether a exists in our hash set or not and we can realize that okay a exists already so immediately because a exists now we will have to move this left pointer up until the point where we encounter this a so okay this b we can ignore this and we'll jump our left pointer okay left pointer comes over here and again this is a so again we will ignore this and then we will come for the left pointer to be over here which means that left pointer is going to be here and right pointer is going to be here and also at the same time we will have to remove the, this b and a from our hash set that we were currently visiting so currently the entries we have is t and m only and then because this right is at this position number a so we are going to add an entry for a now we are going to uh, update the and so far the length of this one is actually 3 so we don't uh, need to update in our answer and then again we are going to update the right pointer so right pointer comes over here this is n and does not exist inside the hash uh, hash set so we will add an entry called n over here and then this length is actually 4 so answer is 4 so we don't need to update so far and then if we do try to do next to uh, this right pointer we come to the end of the list and uh, the string is empty now so because we are done iterating over the entire string now all we need to do is return whatever the answer we found in this case and the answer we found in this case is 4 and that would be our final solution so if we see the time and space complexity in this one it's actually really efficient so in terms of time complexity we are actually completing all of these things in a single iteration so it's actually big o of n and in terms of space complexity uh, we are using this additional hash set to store the value and uh, the space complexity at any given moment is actually going to be big O of whatever the answer we have or whatever the longest increasing subsequence we have because remember at any moment we are only having that whatever the maximum number of uh, unique characters in the substring we have uh, the moment we increase the, uh, the moment we encounter a repeating character we are actually getting rid of all of them so that's why the space complexity is going to be big O of uh, whatever the longest repeating character we, ha we have found so far. First of all, we are going to check a couple of edge cases that if the given string is empty or if it only has one character, then we will return. So now we are going to initialize a couple of variables called left and right and we are going to initialize its value to zero. We are also going to initialize a variable called answer and by default we are going to have the value as 0 and we are going to initialize a hash set of characters. So first of all we are going to run a while loop uh, till the point where write reaches to the end of the string.
first of all we are going to initialize the character variable and uh, to find the value of that particular uh, index and then we will check that whether this uh, value exists inside our hash set or not so if the value exists inside our hash set we are going to remove it from our hash set and we are also going to update the value of our left pointer and if the value does not exist we are going to add it to our hash set and then we are going to calculate that whether the current answer we have is actually greater than whatever the answer we had before and we are going to do right minus left plus one and uh, at the end we are going to update the right pointer as well and that should be it so when this both of these loop runs and after it ends we should have our answer inside the answer variable so we can simply return that now let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's try to submit it and our code runs as expected i will be posting this solution inside the comments